Hello. This is a 53 Chevy. My father worked on it as a kid, and it kind of has been sitting here for quite some time. There is a lot of damage, and the engine is getting quite old, but someday it may be fixed up. There is some damage, rust damage, around the car and in the engine compartment. There is a missing headlight bracket and much more. My father got this car when he was around 10 and he was fixing it up as a child. He decided that he would build cars in his basement. And he still ha is doing repairs to old cars. There is dents like this one. And there is chips in the windshield and a very large crack. The seats have been replaced pretty recently, about five years ago, and that's all that's been replaced recently, I believe. The car was manufactured in 1953, hence it being a 1953 car with lights like this. It looked pretty similar to most cars at its time. The gas tank is on the left side of the vehicle. There's the gauges from way back when, when this car was manufactured. It also was made to be a car for everyone, unlike some cars nowadays. Here you can see the grill and the steering wheel and column. There are no door panels on the inside in the front. The back has them. There are roll down windows. I believe they are stuck right now. There is one of the old windshields. The trunk. I do not know how to open it, but that probably isn't important. The wheels are flat, and there is rust damage in multiple places, such as right here, with lots of rust, and rust in over here. There's also a lot of faded paint on this. I like the idea of this car being red. Like how it's kind of faded it away. As you can see, it kind of looks like it would have been red and is faded into the primer that seems to be a blue cover. The door is jammed. That's fixed now. The grill is factory. 
and so is the engine. Most of this car is factory. And has been factory its entire life. There's an old Chevy emblem. It's got a lot of chrome in the as you can see. On the driver's side, the handle is missing. And we've already discussed about the light. There is some moss growing on it. And mice did live in here at one point, but now they don't. The floor is carpeted. There are two horns. And the hood release is down there. There is a front license plate holder. And there was a rear one, but not anymore. This car has been in my family for quite some time. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.